Hello everyone, I am Jiří, CEO and founder of Supernova, but I am also a developer. I have been developer for a long time and I think this is one of the reasons why Supernova came to be in the first place. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because today's update, about which I will be talking shortly, is focused on developers. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you something that we have been working on for a long time and it is sort of a culmination of work of multiple teams inside Supernova, a new developer experience. So in this video, I will talk about five new things or improvements that you as a developer will really like. Let's start with the first one. So as you can see on my screen, I have an exporter here. Um, for those who know what exporters are, uh, I don't have to explain too much, but uh, maybe you want a little refresher. Exporters are basically packages that allow you to export stuff out of Supernova, can be production code, can be some artifacts like icons or assets. And we are creating a new developer experience, which allows you to write exporters in much better ways than before. I think the main difference, and immediately you will see what it is, is that we have changed the way the exporters are created. Instead of using our own proprietary language called Pulsar, we are now shipping with TypeScript first approach. So if you know TypeScript, you know JavaScript, you will feel like home. The packages are much simpler. It is much easier to understand what is going on. And it is also so much easier to write the exporters. Now the heart of every new exporter that you will create or that you will modify or that you will use just out of the box from the store is Supernova SDK. Today we are super excited to announce that we are finally releasing a full-fledged Supernova SDK. We've always had an SDK, uh, but it was sort of an experiment of sorts. And this SDK is actually a first read and write design system SDK that you will find out there. It allows you access to every single piece of information that you have in Supernova, be it tokens, components, or for those very uh, adventurous ones, also to the documentation data. Not only it allows you to read the data, but it also allows you to write the data. So you can imagine some very interesting use cases with the SDK, like for example, uh, writing component statuses directly into your uh, design system data, and then let's say programmatically publishing a documentation if something changes. All of this is possible and it's really just a surface of what is possible. There is basically access to every single piece of data that you have. And so you can do some pretty outrageous things as you will see later on. Now, alongside this, we are also launching new exporters. Now we have completely changed the way how exporters are done, but this is not the only thing. We have changed it for the better, so we can build better exporters, we can make the experience of using the exporters much easier, and we can also bring some new things that were previously not possible. Now for the first release uh, of this new developer experience, we are launching with two exporters. CSS exporter and also SVG to React code exporter. Now the CSS exporter is basically a showcase of what happens when you take uh, the exporter to its absolute extreme. The previous exporter for the CSS can do a lot of things, but this one can do much more. Uh, we have showcased some new things that the developer experience allows you to do, like building a dynamic configurations of the exporters. And also we are showcasing uh, some of the new libraries that we are bringing uh, to you to make the developer experience much better. As I was saying, the second exporter is SVG to React. You can now basically point to your library of icons, your library of uh, assets, and we will automatically create uh, React definitions out of the SVGs of those icons or illustrations. Now this is hugely beneficial because usually you would have to build your custom pipeline for something like this, but now it's all packaged into a single exporter. 
And this exporter showcases something new that was previously not possible, and that is bringing external libraries to the exporters. Because we have sort of ditched the old ecosystem and we are now TypeScript first, JavaScript first, you can also bring any library from the NPM or uh, other packages to the exporters to help you make this happen. And the SVG to React showcases one of those libraries, SVGO, to help optimize the SVGs so the resulting code is cleaner, much smaller, etc. Alongside all of this, we are also excited to announce that for the first time we are creating or publishing a library uh, that helps you build the exporters much faster. We have over time compiled thousands and thousands of pieces of feedback. We have seen many exporters, public and private, that developers have built. And we have consolidated most of the common use cases, but also most of the difficult use cases uh, or uh, functions, helpers that developers have created into one place, which you can now install as a library to every exporter uh, that you have. This will help you make the common tasks like converting the names, uh, converting tokens, creating CSS, uh, creating files, stuff like this, uh, much easier. And you don't have to figure out your own code for something like this. Overall, when you are using this library, your code drops on average somewhere between like 50 to 80% depending on the exporter. So the savings, especially of the time that it requires to export, to write the exporter is quite vast. As you will see, uh, if you watch a second video that I'm creating, uh, the, the explanation how you build an exporter from scratch, we are using this library quite heavily. We will be extending this library going forward with uh, things that you will create and with things that we will create uh, with the ultimate vision of this library becoming sort of omni library that will do most of the tasks in the exporter. And when you will build a new exporter or customize existing one, you will really only focus on things that are very unique to that exporter, but everything else should be handed over to something that you don't really have to worry about. As the last piece of this release, we are also happy to announce that you finally have a proper developer documentation. I know that this has been a long time coming. I'm sure many of you who are listening this video will be super happy to hear that. But the developer documentation that we are bringing in is finally um, sort of full featured. Uh, we have everything from explaining how to build the exporters, how to build with the announced SDK. And there is also an entire library uh, which you can use to basically uh, describe the data model uh, of Supernova. So if you want to build something on top of Supernova or you need some help with the exporters, uh, there is an SDK reference which allows you to sort of see everything that we have in Supernova how you can use it. Um, it's up to you how you do this. We will be uh, expanding on the documentation as well. There are many things uh, that we are planning for the developer experience going forward. But as it stands right now, we really hope it will help you to build, modify, or even just use exporters and understand uh, their full power. Now, this is everything that I wanted to show you today. Uh, we really didn't go into details because the developer experience is a uh, quite hefty topic. And so we are creating a second video that you can watch right now, uh, which is called Building an Exporter from Scratch. And there I will explain you how exactly you go around building the exporter. Of course, this is uh, parallel to modifying existing exporters. How do you use a Supernova SDK? What all is possible? And I will also share some tip and tricks uh, for those who really mean business when writing the exporters. For now, this has been a long time in the making. I am really excited and also proud on Supernova team, Supernova teams that were involved that we were able to do something like this. But it's no by no means uh, the last thing that we have in store. For more, you will have to wait a little bit longer. But um, 
it's going to be quite fun uh, year ahead of us uh, with Supernova. Thank you very much uh, for listening to this video. And if you are interested in more, go watch the other video where we really go in depth and uh, explain what is going on with the new developer experience. For now, have a great day. Thanks for watching.